What's up guys, this is Jeffrey from Grow a Beard and today I'm going to show you the 20 long beard styles. There's a huge resurgence of long beard styles, you know, trends come and go and then those different beard styles are the ones that go with them. Uh, when, when choosing a long beard, so you got to make sure to dress it up confidently to, you know, shape that looking great. You want to avoid messy styles and you also want to make sure you have a beard style that matches your face perfectly. Uh, when it comes to long beard styles, you have to remind yourself about those underlying factors that comes with the genetics. The genetics have a huge impact on how long your beard actually grows and you know this is sometimes you just can't do anything about it. But besides genes, there's a lot of different methods we can take to make sure you have a long beard. Many men are interested in growing a long beard, but to grow a long beard you have to remember that one key ingredient which is patience. Besides patience when you're practicing it, you also need to figure out which beard cell matches your face. Besides, you know, figuring that out as well, you need to learn what are the things that help you grow a long beard. Besides being patient and actually waiting for that, there's different things we can do that actually help you grow it. And here's what you need to know. Eating a balanced diet. Make sure you eat foods that are healthy and will help increase your beard growth. Eating such foods as healthy fats and Foods that are high in protein, such as eggs, meats, and things like that, will help you increase the beard length. Also, avoid sugar. Exercise regularly. Having high levels of hormones, such as the testosterone, has been proven to grow your beard effectively. Exercising regularly increases that hormone. Get enough rest. Hair usually grows when you are sleeping, so if you want that long beard, sleep anywhere from 8 to 10 hours daily. Don't trim your beard for at least a month. If you want to get that full potential, you gotta let your beard grow out as full as it can and then go ahead and trim it. Apply beard oil. Beard oil is super essential, especially in those beginning weeks when your beard is a little bit itchy. Uh, having beard oil also conditions your beard. It gives it volume and it helps it grow in a strengthened manner. Having that good beard oil, especially if they're all natural, obviously is the best way to make sure that your beard is gonna grow perfect. Comb and brush your beard often. Especially once your beard is starting to get some length, you're going to notice a little bit of curls. It's good to go ahead and brush thoroughly, even though sometimes these curls do go away when they get a little longer. It's also really important to get a comb then, or brush that also is designed for your beard, not any just regular comb. Train your mustache. Your mustache will grow alongside your beard, so it's very vital not to go ahead and trim it too early. It's really important to trim that mustache once your beard has reached a certain length. Uh, it's also really important to have different kits that can, you know, trim that perfectly. And there's also, there's different balms that uh, help keep your mustache out of your mouth. And the last tip I can give you is learn how to eat with your new long beard. Uh, a lot of times, you know, I know when I'm eating, I can really, you know, get a lot of different food particles and things like that in my beard. So it's really important to learn different techniques of how to go ahead and put food in your mouth without putting it in your beard. Once your beard reaches that desired length, it's time to trim it. When it comes to trimming, especially if it's your first time, you want to be very careful and very cautious. Um, having the correct scissors and having those precision scissors is really, really important to make sure you have, uh, you know, you get the right job done. Um, also, uh, you know, a beard shaping tool. That would be very important as well to go ahead and make sure you get those straight lines, especially if it's your first time. Uh, having that right kit is also super, super important as well as, you know, having that big beard. So once you have that beard at that length that you want it, it's time to shape it. What you need is beard scissors, beard trimmer, and a fine tooth wooden comb to shape that beard. First things first, you wanna go ahead and comb out your beard and use those, the, beard, the beard shaping tool to fine tune the edges as well as cutting any uh, imperfections. Use your scissors and beard trimmer to do that, to go ahead and cut in those imperfections. And what you wanna do is start from the sides. Start from your insides and work all the way to the middle of your chin here. So there's many different long beard styles and now I'm going to go ahead and show you the 20 different ones. First one is the boss. To be the boss, you must look like one. This long beard style features faded sideburns, uh, trimmed and outer edges and a deep, deep side part. Number two is the boldly shaped beard. If you want a beard that begins high up on your sideburns, this style is perfect for you. Trim your mustache and let the beard flow long while making a square cut at the bottom. Number three, the Harden. Renowned basketball player and uh, Houston Rockets guard, James Harden, is known for his super long beard. 
His long beard grows from the neck and sides. It is shaped towards the jawline, giving it a controlled and reckless look all at the same time. Number four, the polished look. This beard looks wild and controlled all at the same time. To achieve this look, make sure your beard grows wild, but be carefully trimmed it along the edges and it'll offer a uniform look. This style features clean lines and along the cheek and neckline, coupled with rough edges. Number five, even flow. A long even flow beard reaches to the chest from the chin. It allows you to showcase your roots as they fade from black to gray. Sideburns extend upwards with a short tight cut along the sides of the head. Number six, uniform. This trim chin beard ensuring the mustache and the beard have the same length to give a uniform even look throughout the hair may be unkept. This style is perfect for working environments that require professionalism. Number seven, the razor's edge. This clean long beard style is very popular although it takes skill and precision to master. To ace this style, the entire beard has to be trimmed to achieve the clean lines and uniform length. To add style, the mustache is curled and lengthy. Number eight, the lumberjack. The lumberjack or woodsman style starts with a narrow sideburns to showcase the trimmed and uniform length. This style is seamless but wild. Number nine, clear outline. This killer look requires minimal work. The beard is grown as long and as wild as possible while trimming the edges just to give a clean look. Number 10, the warrior. The Vikings and their fierce appearance inspired this style. The warrior beard is long with two braided ends that require a considerable amount to maintain. Number 11, the handlebars. This style features handlebar mustache which is associated with villains featured in silent movies of the past. This style features a perfectly maintained long beard and a wild handlebar mustache. This style needs a little good beard balm and to achieve that great look. Number 12, the bush and coif. This long beard style is unruly. It is characterized by a wild beard and a styled trimmed coif. To maintain the bush and coif long beard style, you have to balance order and dysfunction perfectly. Number 13, the wild and carefree. This beard requires zero to no effort. The most you will do is to work on the size just to put a little bit of class. Number 14, taking charge. Grow your beard to unprecedented lengths while trimming the outlines perfectly. The mustache should also be trimmed to have a shorter length than the beard before being curled upwards on the edges with a good bee wax. Number 15, the burly man. The beard and mustache must grow out and have the same length. The beard should reach the chest. Grooming should be done daily to avoid tangling. To make this style stand out, combine it with a slick back hairstyle. Number 16, daring to be bold. This style is for the man that's looking for a long beard that is edgy but works perfectly for a bald head. This daring bold style combines a long mustache with a long beard. The style features textures and lengths that vary. Number 17, the two-tone. The two-tone long beard screams manliness whether you're using a natural color or not. This style features a beard and a mustache with a similar color, usually around gray, around the roots and close to the ends, as well as the middle. Number 18, the rebel. This long beard style is perfect for a man with no care or worry in the world. This style starts with a grown out beard trimmed, to shaped, trimmed and shaped to the same length in every direction. The lines must be neat and clean. Number 19, the wave. This beard style features an endless cascade of facial hair rippling down towards the chest. The wave is a goatee with a wave pattern. The look requires a twist or braid on your long beard, often before unwrapping it and fluffing it to give you that endless wave. And lastly guys, number 20, the hippie hipster. This style is a combination of the polished and neatly combed coif beard. The coif and the wilderness of the beard must be balanced out to pull off this style. So there's a lot of many different beard styles that you can choose from. Many of them require a lot of precision and a lot of dedication to actually style. Uh, so we do, we do recommend washing your beard and styling often. That way you get that desired look. If you ever do need any shaping tool or anything to you know, get this beard look, we do have and offer some great products at Grow A Beard that will help you out. And lastly, I'm gonna remind you guys, as always, being weak is a choice. So, grow a beard.